31. Donald Cowboy Cerrone will be 37 in March. Cerrone the taller man by several inches, but it is Conor McGregor who will enjoy a one-inch reach advantage tonight. Now to get us the introductions for our headliner. Here is Bruce Buffett. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell Jr., Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Derek Cleary, Saul Amato, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is sponsored by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. And P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you truly all have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 36 wins, 13 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Denver, Colorado, presenting the UFC's all-time leader in wins, finishes, and performance bonuses. He is the Octagon legend, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion and the former UFC lightweight champion, the one, the only, the notorious. Connor McGregor! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean, touch gloves, let's do it. The tension in this building is indescribable. If you're not here, I'd imagine around the world as you're watching, it feels pretty tense wherever you may be. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, it is all in front of him here tonight as he tries to spring the upset against the prohibited favorite, former two division champion, the notorious Connor McGregor. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Motello, proof for those with a fighting spirit. Cerrone in blue. McGregor with a couple early shoulder strikes is in green. Connor with a big shot to start this off. Oh, Donald's nose is already bleeding. Is that, and it might is be that from the shoulder? shoulder. Yes. Get out of here with that. Oh! Shoulder to show him that he did that. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. 
That's crazy. The shoulder look at, strike. Look at his nose. I mean, that is insane. His nose started bleeding immediately from that shoulder strike. Just explosive movements in the clinch. Slammed his shoulder over and over in the Cowboys' nose. And that started the beginning of the end. Yeah, because the left hand didn't even land. He ducked under it. He ducked under the left the hand. Strikes. Cowboy clinched with him, and he just, I mean, we've never seen that before. We've seen guys show those, throw those shoulder strikes, but never do anything with them. Not like that. That's crazy. Let's look at it again. I mean, I need to see that again. With mounds of pressure, Joe, on his shoulders, every time he walks and competes, McGregor able to rise above it yet again. A familiar visual there with McGregor entrenched atop the octagon, draped by that flag of Ireland. He does it again. He feeds off pressure. He fights better off pressure than, than anyone I've ever seen. I mean, he rises to the occasion as good as anybody that's ever fought in a sport before. And you see Jorge Masvidal, who was just chomping at the bit. Yes. He's like, please give me my red panties now. <laughs> please. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. So here it is. He throws the left hand and misses. Now watch the clinch. Now watch this. Boom. And again, he sets it up. Boom, again, on the nose that time. And again, that one on the eye. And then another That's one. That's what did it right there. I mean, he's hitting him with the collarbone. He's hitting him with his shoulder. And then that high kick lands right on the jaw. Donald's in big, big trouble. Let's we'll see it again. Clips him right on the jaw. Yeah, right over the guard, man. Beautiful kick there from Conor McGregor. Just phenomenal performance. Everybody and, worried about that left hand, and he comes yeah. out and does that. And just beats him down here. The king is back. No doubt about it. And to, to his credit, Herb Dean gave Cerrone every chance he could. He in absolutely that, you know, did. I, I like that. He, you know, he knows how tough Cowboy is, and uh, he were, What was that? Well, Conor McGregor's not going to get a belt tonight, but it feels as though this mixed martial arts world kind of once again belongs to him, and this opens up all the opportunities in the world <laughs> as he disposes of, of Cowboy Cerrone properly tonight. The official decision is brought to you by Van Heusen. Punch up your style with a winning combination of comfort and flexibility one final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Connor McGregor!